Hi, my name is Sarah Cummings, and this is my social media project on the Route 66 Marathon. I apologize because my camera is not working right now, so I included a little picture of me so that you know who I am and can put a face to the name. So the Route 66 Marathon is a Tulsa-based race known across the country and the running community for offering a unique experience and course to its participants. The marathon is for both serious and casual runners who enjoy beer and a sense of community among those racing and those on the sidelines. The race has taken place for the past 15 years and has been partnered with Williams for the past 12 years while also working with local causes such as Ansley, Ansley's Angels and Kicks for Kids. The Route 66 Marathon is especially known for being a great option for amateur runners who want to join an exciting running community and veteran runners who want to achieve their personal best. This race attracts runners from areas across the country because of the vibrant atmosphere that Tolsons create for the event. The mission is to promote a healthy lifestyle for Tolsons, and the key competitors for this marathon are the Little Rock Marathon and the OKC Memorial Marathon. This year, unfortunately, the Little Rock Marathon falls on the exact same weekend as the Route 66 Marathon, making them a key competitor. So, for the SMART goals. Specifically, both local and drive markets are key targets, and obtaining registration for these, especially this year, will be done through social media promotion. Tolsons are more aware of the race than anyone, and since the Little Rock Marathon falls on the same weekend, promoting the race to the drive markets is key. Another goal is to get new runners to register. Many people throughout quarantine and lockdowns picked up running as a new hobby, though they might not see themselves as race runners. Promoting the race to these individuals or groups as a fun, low-stress, and high-inclusivity high environment will be key. For measurable goals, social media allows for analytics and data to be more easily measured for different promotions. One way to measure the success of registrations through social content will be seeing how many users go through the social pages directly to both register and just find out more about the race in general. Tulsa is known for being a great PR course. This race is also known for having a great community involvement. By highlighting these things, participants will see more value in the race because it's fun and impactful for all those taking part, whether they're amateur or veterans or just supporting the community. Since the community is such a big part of the Route 66 Marathon, encouraging people to talk about the event and get their friends to participate with them will help boost those registrations. For the relevant goals, it's important for people to feel safe and healthy when running this marathon because that ties in so well with the Route 66 mission. The goal is to pack the corrals in a safe way and show runners that the race has taken measures to keep everyone safe. That'll encourage more people to feel more comfortable participating. It's also important for everyone to be on the same page regarding guidelines and precautions. For time-bound goals, participants should know when the race is and where to register, so emphasizing a call to action and directing them to the site is key. Participants must sign up by the race date, but can get cheaper prices by signing up earlier. Showing off the deadlines to for tier prices will encourage people to sign up promptly. So, the C category includes amateur runners who do not consider themselves marathon runners or may have picked up running as a hobby over quarantine. This group also includes people in the Tulsa area or running community who are aware of the race but have no intention to register. The think category involves people who might be deciding whether or not the event will be safe or whether or not they want to attend the Route 66 Marathon or possibly a different race like the Little Rock Marathon. This group could also include quarantine runners that take themselves seriously but have not participated in a race before this year and are interested in joining the running community. The do cluster involves people who want to run the marathon and are looking to register. The care group involves spectators, past volunteers, and most importantly, loyal Route 66 marathon runners who have participated year after year. Now for our target personas. The first target persona is a 36-year-old mother named Jane who lives right outside of Oklahoma City in a wealthy suburb. She found her passion for running in her mid-20s and loves the impact that running has made on her life. Jane is a self-starter, running her own business from home, giving her time to travel across the country for marathons. Jane wants others' lives to be positively impacted by running in the way that hers was, so she uses her story to motivate others on social media. 
Jane spends most of her screen time on Instagram, though she keeps up with niche Facebook groups related to marathons, personal growth, and fundraising. On Instagram, she follows motivational and health accounts along with her friends and family. She enjoys keeping up with runners in her community and supporting their progress digitally. Jane also spends time on Pinterest, creating boards full of health, lifestyle, and recipe pins. The second target persona is John, a 33-year-old software engineer who spends his free time volunteering in the Tulsa community. John works hard at his day job but enjoys giving back even more. He was born and raised in Tulsa and loves seeing his local community grow and thrive. John lives near Riverside and enjoys being active outside, whether it's for a short neighborhood stroll or biking the trails at the gathering place. John enjoys using social media to keep up with his friends and family, as well as the Tulsa community. He spends most of his time on Twitter and Facebook looking at memes and learning about local events and causes. John is competitive and enjoys beating his own records. He has taken up running since the lockdown in early 2020. He loves the communal aspect of the sport, and he has been an ambassador for the Route 66 Marathon in the past, but has never been a participant. This year, due to his newfound love for running and the ability to choose a shorter distance, he decided to participate and compete in the marathon that brings the city of Tulsa together. The competitors for the Route 66 Marathon are the Little Rock Marathon and the Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon. The Little Rock Marathon has taken COVID seriously and offers precautions like the ability to defer tickets to the 2022 race. The race offers multiple distances to run anywhere from a 5K to a full marathon, and they also have a kid's race where they get to run the last mile, making it more of a family-friendly environment. Little Rock offers a health and fitness expo for those who want more or aren't running at all. The expo serves as a way for people to see products and services catering to runners and also gives out-of-state runners a place to hang out. There's nothing for non-runners to do involving the race. They offer medals for those competing in the races. The marathon also offers a training program full of virtual coaching and guidance. Their go-to platforms are Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, with the most engagement on Facebook. The OKC Memorial Marathon serves as a memorial event for the Oklahoma City bombing and is the largest fundraiser for the Oklahoma City Memorial and Museum, which was a tragedy that hit close to home for many Oklahomans. This course offers a wide array of distances and involvement similar to the Little Rock Marathon. They have everything between 5K runs and a full marathon and even include a kid's marathon as well. They offer pace group leaders an app to measure the results, finisher medals, and the opportunity to have your name in the paper the following week if you finish. The marathon is a Boston qualifier. They offer awards in different categories. In the future, they plan to expand the race to bike riders as well. Their go-to platforms are Facebook and Instagram, but their biggest platform is Instagram with 10.4 thousand followers. Instagram and Facebook will be the best networks to utilize to reach the greatest number of our target. Facebook groups have started to play a more important role in building communities, and the Route 66 Marathon can be easily integrated into that due to the tightness of the running community. There is a chance the Marathon's Twitter account can be revived, though Twitter generally has a younger audience anyway. It is important for the Marathon to stay active on these social accounts, whether it's posting often and consistently or just engaging with the community that is following the accounts. People love seeing a brand with personality that cares for its audience, and having that engagement will make users more loyal to the race. For the content mix, I reevaluated the See, Think, Do, Care framework. For the C category, I would want to show people that the race is not as intimidating as they might think. The race isn't just for professional runners or even just the people that are running, but for everyone involved in the competition, and I think it's important to display that. It's about the community and the excitement that the race brings. For the Think Cluster, it's important to display that the race is simply better than the competitors like the Little Rock Marathon. Route 66 Marathon is called Tulsa's biggest party for a reason, and there's a lot more to the race than just running and a fancy medal. Not to mention, Route 66 Marathon's finisher medals are pretty unique and definitely something that the runners are looking to obtain. To cater to the do audience, the social content should emphasize tier pricing because it adds a sense of urgency. It will encourage people to register now so that they can save now. 
and that way they'll be committed. For the care section, it's important to remind people why they love the race so much. Like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot more to the Route 66 marathon than just the race, and the loyal participants and volunteers know that. Now for the actual content, short form content, motion graphics are very eye-catching. Facebook particularly caters to content with video and minimal text because it's highly engaging. Instagram can be a mix of the two, but with an emphasis on motivational and slideshow type content involving video and photos. A great way to ensure your page reaches more people is to make your content shareable. Users often share posts to their stories and quotes are more likely to get shared. By creating unique but brand friendly quotes and information could help encourage others to post them on their own stories, allowing all of their followers to see your content as well. Instagram stories are also a great way for pages to direct users right to the website of, or link of choice with the swipe up feature. Twitter can be more text heavy, but motion graphics are still great for that platform and will catch the eyes of the audience. The voice of these posts are friendly, motivational, and energetic. Here are a set of templates that I created for both Instagram and Facebook content. They're motion graphics and they're really just templates that keep the same visual look of the Instagram theme, but with a little bit more motion. Here are some of the still content pieces that I created as well. For my content calendar, I used Later because it was very user-friendly and allowed me to set up push notifications on my phone to relate it to when I needed to be posting. This allowed me to diversify my posts in advance so that the account would not be boring, but rather keep the post fresh and interesting. So for June through August, um, it's important to put motivational, feel-good posts to get people excited for the race. There are going to be a few pricing updates depending on when the tiers um, end, and encouragement to register. From September to mid-October, we will be heavily encouraging followers to register for the event, along with that same feel-good, motivational style of posts. And then finally, from mid-October to the race weekend, the posts will be encouraging last-minute registration while also promoting the events and giving out important information about this year's race. Thank you for listening, and I hope you all have a great day.